It was just a normal day. A day like any other day. And it began like this. Is this thing? Do you have to have a degree in torture to be an engineer? Okay. I'm up. Oh. Shower. That's the first thing, a shower. And I wandered into the shower and I heard a bird chirping. And I remembered my resolve of the night before that the first thing the next morning I would thank God that I had one more day of life to serve Him and to repent. And the bird had remembered I hadn't. <laughs> so as the hot water started running, uh, okay, God, uh, thank you, um, thank you. Where's the shampoo? <laughs> but the uh, the shower revived me a little bit, and so I went and got myself ready, and I went downstairs and uh, put my um, healthy whole grain bread into the toaster and turned it on. And as I did, I thought to myself, hmm, wow, you know, we, we're so blessed to have such good food available to us and healthy food. And, and the toaster popped up and I thought of what my doctor had shown me with my cholesterol readings. So I took a little bit of butter and I tried to spread it on the bread. And, and it just didn't spread enough. So I cut a little more butter and I spread it out a little more and I went, well, this is too much butter for this piece of bread. I better have some more. <laughs> and I put the toaster down. And when it popped up, I took my well-buttered pieces of nice whole grain bread. It's called giving with the left hand and taking with the right. And I sat down at the table and started to eat and poured myself a cup of tea and was, the mail was laid out and I, oh, a new catalog from Musician's Friend. I mean, I know I need another guitar like I need a hole in the head, but <laughs> I didn't know they had that. I had resolved to give a little more money to charity in the church, but boy, I'll look at, I'll look at July's budget. Hmm. So I finally ate my breakfast and I went out and I uh, caught the news on my news service. I went to my office in the back room and that's, uh, we don't have television at our house so we catch it on the internet and I popped it up and I found that I just was getting angry at all the evil in the world. And I realized as I got angry that I'm not sure I was really making a distinction between being angry at the evil done and the people who were doing it. I really wasn't being clear about the difference between a sin and the sinner and I certainly didn't have our Lord's compassion for the world of people who hurt Him. So I switched off the news and I opened up Microsoft Word and I continued doing my work and then it was time to go up to the hospital and I drove up 33 and there are bulletin boards along the side of the, or billboards along the side of the road that, um, well, probably pastors shouldn't be looking at. And I didn't, I, I, did, I did turn my eyes, but maybe not quickly enough. 
And uh, so I went to the hospital, I did my visits, and I even did some Bible study in the afternoon, maybe thinking that my good behaviors on balance, maybe the day would balance out. If I did a little good stuff and some little bad stuff, maybe I could make the day balance out a little better. And uh, so I did some nice things, and I visited with people, and I did my Bible study, and I, I um, did a little prayer, and did some more work, and I uh, put the kids to bed, and at, by the end of the day, I um, well, was just not re quite ready to go to bed yet, so I went back down and put on YouTube. YouTube is great for concerts, I have to tell you that. And uh, I pulled up one of my favorite performers and was watching their, them play, and I thought, wow, you know, I, I love being a pastor, but he looks like he's having a lot of fun up there. And then I went to bed, thanking God that that's my final prayer of the day. I'm glad, Lord, this day that my sins weren't too big and I didn't make too much of a mess of things. And I remembered the resolve I hadn't fulfilled that morning. I thought, well, maybe tomorrow morning, first thing, the minute that alarm clock goes off, I'm going to thank God that I still have breath in my lungs and I have one more day to serve Him and to repent. And I turned off the light. Like I said, it was just an average day. But if you didn't catch how that average day went, all seven deadly sins, sloth, gluttony, greed, wrath, lust, envy, pride, that's the I have not sinned too greatly part. <laughs> and add to it impiety. The day began with me praising God and ended with a mess. A mess I had made of the day and of the chance He had given me. A pile of sins that nailed my Lord to the cross for the sake of my salvation. And the point here is not a God who is such a bean counter. He can't let go of little sins, a few small sins, although God is holy and just and sin cannot exist in His presence. The point here is the wounds I did to my own soul. Whether or not my sins were counted by anyone, whether or not they had an impact in the world. By His stripes we are healed. And so my Lord must go to the cross that I might have my sins washed away and that my soul might be healed. This day in the church's year, when we begin the service with Hosanna's and end it, hearing of the great sacrifice of our Lord and Savior. It's just a day like any other day. But as we hear, and as we thank Him, as we go into this week, having heard these words and this story of our salvation, Maybe we can resolve, even fail if we fail in our resolve, still try to resolve to love and serve in His name. And especially in this holy week, to worship Him as He deserves. For His is truly the name above all names, the name at which every knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth will bow to the glory of God the Father. To Him we give thanks and praise and empty ourselves, having in us the same mind that was in Him, that we may know our sins and know more His salvation. To Him be the glory and honor in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen.